Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Conspiracy theorist says they've spotted proof of a secret U.S. project in this moon landing footage. There's been no shortage of conspiracy theories about the Apollo space program's moon landings. Usually, the hypothesis focuses on the idea that the landings never happened at all. But the latest conspiracy speculation from UFO Mania YouTube's channel has something a little different to add to the pot. NASA's Apollo mission to put humans on the moon got underway in 1961. It took place after President John F. Kennedy told Congress that a new goal had been set for the U.S. space program. Kennedy said that NASA would now dedicate its resources to landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. This was to happen by the end of the 1960s. The ambitious goal set in the context of the space race with the USSR was actually achieved pretty much bang on deadline on July 21, 1969. On that day, Neil Armstrong clambered down from the Apollo 11 lunar module onto the surface of the moon. Strictly speaking, the goal wasn't truly completed until the three-man crew traveled safely back to Earth, which they did three days later. After that moon landing, another five followed. One, Apollo 13, had to be aborted because an oxygen tank exploded on board the spaceship two days into the mission. Fortunately, the three astronauts on that voyage were able to make a safe return to Earth using the landing module as a rescue vehicle. However, not everyone was convinced about the veracity of these journeys to space. Bill Casing was one such naysayer. And his book, We Never Went to the Moon, America's $30 Billion Swindle, which was self-published in 1976, has been widely credited as one of the most influential works in the moon landing conspiracy genre. A man with wide-ranging beliefs about a variety of conspiracies, Casing insisted that the moon landings had been entirely faked. Other notable allegations of fakery have come from a range of organizations and individuals. One memorable claim came from the Flat Earth Society. According to the association, the whole enterprise was staged by Hollywood with the collaboration of Walt Disney, science fiction writer Arthur C. Clarke, and movie director Stanley Kubrick. Author Milton William Cooper, meanwhile, believed that the entire moon landing operation had been shot in a huge soundstage. In an interesting variation, French writer Philippe Leroux claimed that the moon landings had indeed taken place, but that NASA had published staged pictures to hide valuable scientific detail that was evident in the real photographs. Over in the Soviet Union, politician Yuri McKean had a contribution to the conspiracy bandwagon. He asserted that the Communist Party Central Committee had assisted the U.S. government in faking the landings. So, moon landing conspiracy theorists have been far from rare over the years. But back to the latest conspiracy theory from UFO Mania, which concerns one specific moon landing, the fifth and penultimate one. That was the 1972 Apollo 16 mission crewed by John Young, who was in command, Charles Duke, who piloted the lunar module, and Ken Mattingly, who helmed the command module. Apollo 16 launched into a blue sky broken only by a few fluffy clouds on April 16, 1972 from Florida's Kennedy Space Center. After some technical glitches had delayed the launch by a month, everything went smoothly on the day. Twelve minutes after liftoff, the Saturn V rocket had propelled the three astronauts safely into orbit. As the astronauts admired the view of Earth below them, the ship departed the planet's orbit and sped through space towards the moon at 22,000 miles per hour. On the fourth day of the mission, the craft arrived at its destination. The astronauts were scheduled to land on the moon on the next day. A little more than 96 hours after the start of the mission, Young and Duke undocked the lunar module from the command module and prepared to land. The lunar module descended to the moon's surface and landed just 890 feet from the target spot. They were on the moon. Young and Duke now had three days ahead of them on the surface. The astronauts took a break for some food before resting up in advance of the next day's moonwalk. The following morning, Young left the lunar module first, making him the ninth human to set foot on the moon. Now deploying the mission's moon buggy, the two men set about the various tasks they'd been assigned. Over the three days, the men completed three moonwalks, during which they explored various craters, collected samples, and took pictures. And it was one of those pictures which, years later in 2018, so excited the folks at UFO Mania. 
one photograph in particular excited them the most. It's a shot which they say shows something entirely out of the ordinary on the surface of the moon. The rather blurry lump in the background, to their eyes at any rate, is actually a building. And what on earth is that doing on the moon? The photograph in question was apparently taken by Charles Duke during the third and last moonwalk. And the commentary in the YouTube video revealing this discovery by UFO Mania says, in a weirdly robotic voice, this is new evidence as to what's on the moon. The YouTube footage goes on to show a handful of other photographs that, according to the video makers, also reveal construction activity on the moon. The photo from the Apollo 16 mission that UFO Mania has posted to YouTube is titled, Lunar Base Revealed in Apollo Image. The only other explanatory text attached to the video, which is dated April 2018, is the somewhat enigmatic Apollo 16 habitat building, spaceship and extra personnel on the moon. Where the extra personnel are is a mystery besides their hiding behind the habitat building or maybe they're even hard at work inside it in the comments below the video viewers offer their opinions Dan R Sturbo s1 is skeptical writing how the hell is this real when NASA never went there in the first place complexity science has a similar opinion offering there was no moon landing ask Stanley Kubrick if he were alive Zach Mansour meanwhile confines himself to the brief but pithy comment that's a rock in fact, the idea of putting buildings on the moon is not entirely without foundation. According to a 2016 Daily Mail story, some NASA scientists had been working on the idea of a moon base. They believed such a station accommodating 10 people could be built on the moon by 2022. And the European Space Agency even believes that the base could be built using 3D printers. But for now, Zach Mansour's That's a Rock comment looks to be spot on.